Good evening. This video is created by Websoft Creation. In this video, you will learn that how we can upload our files in our database. To complete this tutorial or to implement this tutorial, I have made an, a table. My table name is images and my database name is test. I used three field names that ID, it is auto increment field, name is a where care field and images is also and where care field. And, uh, I want that uh, by using the file upload control, I can upload my files to to the local application server and uh, my database server. As uh, many developers think about that, uh, images should be stored in database or in application server. So, as per my idea and as per my knowledge, that I I I like to suggest to you that we should use application server to upload files and we should store the um, path of that file in our database because it will not increase load loading on your database if your database have more data then it will definitely it will work slow to implement this uh, file upload control i i used some controls over here first my text block where i will take the name and the second one is the file upload control where uh, where I can upload my file. So submit button. After clicking on submit button, the data will transfer on the server. So I have made a file that my file name is images. By using this file uh, file folder, I can upload my files over here, and I will store the data in my database. So first of all, I want to track. I have to track my images folder with. Where which is uh, situated in your in your application server. So string path server dot map path images. This is the my folder name and hash is uh, as it's uh, uh, showing the application path. That's why I have I can I have to use the images slash. So server dot map path will return the actual address or actual path of of my images folder. It will store in the path variable. Now. First of all, I, I have to check that the user has uploaded some file in file upload control or not. To check this, this I can use the has file attribute or has file property which will return the villain value. It, it will be false or it will be true. If a user have uploaded any file, then it will return true or if a user don't have uploaded any kind of file, then it will return false. So. I, I want that uh, only JPG or, or PNG file should be uploaded in our application server. So I have to check it and I have to retrieve the the file extension. So to get the file extension, we uh, I have to use using system.io. This is a namespace and as we know that namespace is a logical grouping of classes. So by using the uh, system.io, I can use the path class which have function get extension get instruction function will extract the files path or sorry file extension so i will give the full name of my file upload control file name okay the file name property will return the actual file name uh, whatever i want to upload on my server like uh, my file name is or uh, water lilies is my file name dot jpg so it will extract the extension which is dot jpg in ext variable so at if condition i will check that ext equal to jpg and ex or ext equal to png uh, by implementing this code we can uh, identify that uh, uploaded file is in jpg or png if if uh, my file is not uh, belong to dot png or jpg so it will show some message to the user that response dot right you can upload only jpg and png file so I will use the save as method, file upload save as method by which I can upload my files to the my images folder. And uh, I want that uh, the uh, files path should be stored in my database field name. That's why I have to take the file name images and the file upload one dot file name. So my file if uh, my file name is uh, if my file name is water lilies dot jpg then the name variable have slash, uh, tilde images tilde plus uh, water lilies dot jpg so it is my uh, it is my file's actual path then i will implement the insert query 
string as insert into images values text box one dot text dot trim trim method is used to remove the left left and right blank spaces and name name have the actual path of my file okay so sql command will execute by using execute non query i will implement my insert query in my database and after that i will close my correction so let's check it and uh, run it in my this uh, application to see my other videos you can directly log in our um, in youtube where i have a channel web soft creation i have loaded mo more videos related to asp.net php salesforce oracle i want i want to share my knowledge among the people uh, i put my best efforts to to implement this and if you have any queries related to asp.net salesforce oracle php you can write email to us that is websoft creation uh, info at uh, info at the creation.co.in okay thank you watching for the to thank you watching to uh, thank you for watching this video i want the name websoft this is my file name or oh, sorry my name and by using the photo upload control i will header.jpg this is my file i will click on submit then you will see that uh, my file has been uploaded over here my file name is websoft and my header.jpg is my file so if you refresh it then you will find that images folder had header.jpg thanks for watching this video i will upload